Alright guys, this video tutorial is brought to you by ImageFXMedia.com. We are going to do, on this particular tutorial, we're going to combine pictures. Uh, we're going to blend them nicely, very uh, soft. Uh, we're going to use mask, uh, adjustment layers, we're going to do some text at the end, and then just a small border frame. And uh, I'm going to show you maybe a little trick if you don't know it well. It's very good, uh, when you, especially when you do masking. And just like it says on red, we are not going to use Erase tool, therefore we will not be erasing any of the images. And this is what we're going to try to do, it's going to be four or five pictures, uh, one, two, just a bunch of parrots. Uh, here's the border, uh, little text, nothing major, and just how to make them uh, blend nicely from one to another. Uh, let me get rid of this one. Um, this one right here, I'm sorry, here we go. This one is pretty much the same thing, it's just that I've done the tutorials a few times, so I, I saved the PSDs, and as you can see, I've done different uh, uh, frames, and obviously I moved the parrots here and there, nothing, nothing major again, and I'm missing one, I think it's, I think it's this one right here. Anyways, uh, let's get uh, start. We're going to open a new document, Control n uh, 12 by 8 or 300 dpi is fine, RGB color is fine. Uh, so here is our canvas, we have our um, tool palette, and we're going to use our tool palette, our layers palette, and just the text at the end. So we're going to bring the first picture, uh, I believe it's 668, it's going to be a major uh, parrot, there you go. So this is our main parrot. Uh, make sure you have your move tool selected or just the uh, letter V. And just hold it, drag, and drop it. Perfect. So we're going to make this just a little smaller just by uh, using the transform tool. Transform tool. Uh, hold your shift and you can make this pretty much the size you want. We're going to keep it this way. Enter. Uh, the second picture, I believe, is 665. It's going to be the right one. Here we go. Um, we're going to put this little fella here. Uh, Control T again. And there we me see. Let's make it smaller. Not too small. Somewhere on there. Enter. If we need to move the pictures around, we'll, we'll do. Um, next was going to be 66. 663. Here we go. I'm going to put this guy right here. Uh, control T. I'm going to make it kind of small. Not too small either. Not too small. It's better to be here. Uh, there we go. Then we're going to bring a picture 66666. And we're going to have this guy. Uh, did I show up? I'm sorry. 666. Six, six. Here we go. Uh, again, we're going to just hold and drag and put it on the new canvas. Control T. And we're going to get this guy somewhere around here. So it looks like it's bending. Enter. And the last one is going to be 675, 675, here we go, there we go, again, letter V, and drag it and place it anywhere you want, even though it's pretty much the same bird as the other one before, but what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to flip him, make sure he's not bothering anybody here. Uh, Okay, edit, transform, flip horizontal, that's the best way to do all this flipping. You know what, I'm going to have this guy here, and this one, I'm going to put him somewhere around here. It doesn't matter if we can see or not. That's good. So we're going to use, this one we're going to use our mask. Uh, two things are going to happen, make, actually, make sure you have your selected, uh, your layer that the one that you want to add the mask to. 
So once I click here, two things. One, we're going to have the square, and these two colors are going to change automatically to white and black or black and white. So we click white and black, and we have our uh, mask. When you work with mask, you use your brush tool. You don't need to use the erase tool. So let's just going to make this a very soft uh, hardness and a large diameter, a little bit longer, that's good. And in order for you to understand masking, very simple. White reveals and black hides. So if we do that, uh, we change our colors just by the letter, clicking on the letter Z, I'm sorry, the letter X, or just with this little two arrows, same thing. So we keep it on black, and just like we said before, black, black height. So we're going to do this, something very simple. Uh, you might not have to do it this much here. Okay, so here's a trick that I learned a uh, few, uh, few years ago. All right, so once you have this, how do you know if you are missing any parts here or here? How do you know if you've done it the right way? Well, there are a few ways to do it, but the, personally, the fastest way, just come here to your layer style, style and just click a stroke. And, you know, let me just zoom in, uh, not too much, there we go, you can see all, I miss all this, miss this, all this, you don't want to have any straight lines, now if I click the stroke, you can barely tell, but it's going to do it nicely, we're going to put the stroke back in there, sorry, and brush tool, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be that big. And here we go. We're going to make sure we see this guy right here. Uh, he was hiding. There we go. All this got to go. Perfect. Same thing here. Make sure there are no straight lines. That's, let me get rid of this guy here. And perfect. If we need to go back, we'll do it. That's not it. Okay. So one is done. The only thing you do is just unclick the, the stroke. So we're good. So now we're going to do the second, this one right here, the second picture again. Layer mask. Uh, we're going to zoom in just a touch. Very good. And brush tool again. Uh, that's good. And we're going to do the same thing that we did on the first one. Uh, nope, we don't want to. Nope, we don't want to do that because we don't want to have any straight lines. Again, we come with our just layers, stroke, or click OK, and we miss this one right here. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit so you can see. If I uncheck the stroke, I cannot see it. But if I check, I know there's something here, so let's make it a little smaller. There we go, and we get rid of it. Any straight lines. When you do blending, is the worst thing. <coughs> Sorry, that's the worst thing that you can do. Uh, we have a little bit here. Let me just get it like this. Very good. And here, same thing. Uh, perfect. Control zero. We uncheck the stroke. And I believe we only need to do this one right here. Uh, we don't have to do this one or this one since they are kind of like the back, the back from now. So layers, uh, we our layer layer mask, letter B. Let's just make it a little bigger, and we're gonna do the same thing here. And just uh, let me uh, zoom in a little bit. Here we're gonna have a little bit of trouble because if I make it smaller. Now we have the background, the white, this white background. We have it here and we have it here. That's not a problem. So what we do is on this guy right here, on the first one, we're going to bring more into this side. Um, X for 
white. Same thing here. And okay, we don't want it that much. Okay, let me see how it looks. Uh, this one, you also want to do the stroke just to make sure we did it right. See, we're missing all this area right here. All this. So we bring our brush tool and we just make sure none of that shows. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we like it. Now we are going to come up here. We're going to our uh, text. And just like I've been typing for the last couple of days, uh, it's going to be parrots. Oops. Parrots day off. Okay, we're going to make this red. Uh, we're going to make it just uh, black, uh, really thick. And uh, we're going to make this a little bit, maybe like 60. Uh, let's say, sorry. 70 point. Here we go. And we're going to add just a small uh, shadow. Uh, just a little stroke. We're going to make it white. So we can actually read it. Uh, let's make it a little bigger. There we go. That's good. Okay. Uh, let's see. We like that. Now we're going to do the... Uh, um, what was it? The... Uh, In the middle, we're going to do the uh, border. So the way you do it, um, we're going to create a uh, new layer. Here we go. We're going to name this uh, border. Come here with your um, round tool. Click on it, and just make sure you have your path selected, not your uh, shape layers or your fill pixels. Let's just do the path. So you come here, somewhere around here, and you do look square, which is going to be our border. There we go. You can see it here on your path. There we go. So now once we have this, very simple, we come here with a brush tool. And we're going to pick something. I'm going to pick this one right here. And we're going to make it kind of big. A little bit bigger than that. Not too big. Uh, a little bit bigger. Very good. And we'll keep the orange color as fine and just click enter. And there it is. And we're going to hit it again. Enter, enter, enter. And then we're going to do this a white color. And we're going to make this smaller. And just click enter, enter, enter. And there it is. Here you can see the border on this side right here. So we're going to click outside the path. And we're going to zoom in. Just make sure we don't have any problems as far as the blending. Uh, we're going to see the parrots. That he looks good. Here, here's the uh, border. Um, here we go. It looks good. All this looks all right. Make sure there's nothing on top of anybody. Make sure the blending looks good. Make sure there's no... Uh, right here, I think we can do better than this. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I'm sure we can do here better. Bring your brush tool. Make sure you have a soft. Uh, there we go. There you go. Much better. I think we can do the other way around. Letter X. Now, here we go. And let's just move around. Here, that looks good. That looks good. I'm sorry. We need to get rid of the uh, stroke. There we go. We need to move this, get rid of the stroke out of this one. That looks good. He looks all right. And this fellow looks good. Control zero. That's it. Thank you.